Hello, my name is Ashley. Today I want to show you walnut, uh, very delicious appetizer. It's with walnut. It's very tasty, very delicious. This, this dish has been done centuries in Middle East. It's very, very good. Um, I have to say it's a little bit sweet, a little bit savory and a little bit spicy. So of course it depends how much do you like to put the spices. It's up to you. It's like optional. You can make it. It's very delicious. It calls Muhammad, which is a lot of people, they would love to know how. And I want to show you. My main, main thing is the walnut. It's very, very tasty and healthy too for you. So how do we start? About like two cups of uh, breadcrumbs. You just go from the machine with the machine and then uh, which is about two, two dishes, two cups, and then about two cups of walnut you will put. And I, uh, I'm gonna grind this walnut. You put about two cups full. Uh, forgive me. About three times you kind of grind it. Don't make it too sandy, it has to be a little bit crumbly. Crumble, and you see how it is. So you put this on a on a breadcrumb. I have to say about two to three cups as as my pack. So we have to put some more. Okay, one more. We have to grind it about three times to four. There you go. You see how crumbly it is. I have to put this on too, and there we go. This is the most tastiest dish. It's an appetizer. All right, here's our breadcrumbs and the walnut, which is mixed. Now we have to add to this about coffee cup of paprika, which is, this is a sweet paprika, it is. Usually it has to be hot. You have to put, this is the sweet paprika. You have to put some water and you have to leave to get it wet, soak it. We have to put some cumin, which is about three tablespoons cumin. It looks a lot, but it's not. We have to put, this is pomegranate juice, which it's, uh, they sell all the Middle Eastern stores. You can find even markets these days. It's very, very tasty. It's concentrated pomegranate. And you put about maybe three tablespoons to four tablespoons. Like I said, it has a little bit tart taste and a sweet taste. It's very, very delicious. About a teaspoon of salt we have to add. Usually I put everything in eye measurement. In case if you need a little bit more, you can always do. If not, it's okay. And then you put about two teaspoon of sugar. About this much, which is good. And now we have to put the paprika in it which is paprika, it's like two minutes before, like see still it's dry, you should have, I should have put some more water, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna put olive oil, we have to mix this. All right. And this dish, it needs a lot of olive oil because it's a breadcrumb and it's a walnut, it's gonna soak. Don't worry, it's not gonna be oily, it's gonna really, really become very, very tasty. Now I'm going to add a little bit hot chili pepper, which like I said, it's a little spicy. Usually this dish, it has to be spicy, but a lot of people, they don't like too hot. So it depends how much do you like. So this is the dish. Now we're going to add the olive oil. We have to mix it good. So the paprika, the liquid, it will absorb. And now the olive oil. When you put the olive oil, it has to be plenty, at least easy, easy one cup because there is a breadcrumb and a walnut, especially the breadcrumb, it's gonna absorb it. And when you do this dish, don't eat quickly, just leave it for at least a couple hours. So all the juices will, the taste will absorb in it. See, like the way you see it, the breadcrumb, it's taking time to absorb. 
because we need some more and it's going to be very red later on the color and it's very tasty you will enjoy it and you will make this every day i do this for my kids they take it with them to work they take them to their own places and they enjoy it i have this every day in my refrigerator without muhammad we cannot survive we can't leave it that's how tasty it is so the way you see it it's absorbing it won't be oily you don't have to worry it's very healthy for you if you like to put more spice you can so it's a very simple dish and it's very good I hope you'll try this dish and you will enjoy it anytime you go any Middle Eastern uh, restaurants this is the first thing they offer you because this is the really main delicious uh, this not dessert appetizer all right still it feels a little dry some more we have to put and even though you see it's wet by next day you'll see still it's dry you can add more this is healthy olive oil virgin olive oil it is in case if you don't like olive oil you can use mazola but i think olive oil it's even tastier like i said it's optional but olive oil it's more like do you see the color how it's coming out the red this is all walnut and a little bread crumb it is and then and this is how you do it and you and you leave this a little bit in refrigerator and then you'll enjoy this with the pita bread and here we have a pita bread as an appetizer you put it like I said I can taste it now I'm sure it's very very tasty but I'm gonna leave in refrigerator another few hours or next day it will be even tastier this one you deco you put it in a dish and you with the pita bread or a lavash bread you'll enjoy it this is the pita bread or i'm sure everybody knows the lavash bread this is one of the most delicious bread including with the pickle which i made today here's the pickle you can put next to it and you can enjoy it it's very tasty dish i hope you'll try it and you'll enjoy it have fun anything you like to learn please if you have any comment let me know and i will try to do it for you well thank you for watching i hope you try and you enjoy it it's very tasty thank you bye bye